So yeah. we're absolutely delighted to have the gorgeous Kerry <laughs> Coy with us today. Good morning. Oh, Kerry, thank you. Been uh, since Challenger since November. November. Oh, and so tell us. How much have you lost, Harry, so um, far? So I have quite a lot to lose, and I've lost two stone and nine pounds so far. That's amazing. amazing. That's brilliant, yeah. Harry. So it's the most that I've been able to do, I have to say. Um, I have struggled to lose weight in the past, so I'm delighted. Oh, so it's brilliant. Keeping so going. <laughs> and we just wanted to bring you on to <clears throat> kind of talk about your story, because you were very apprehensive about intermittent fasting. Like a lot of people, it just goes against everything we've ever been taught. So we met you in November. You, we know you carry it through Tropic. You're our Tropic. Yep. You're beautiful. Up line. Line. <laughs> Up line. I never remember the words. <laughs> Tropic, um, an amazing product yeah. uh, range, but we'll get on to that. But that's, we came to visit you one, one evening in November because you had a new product that you wanted to tell us about. Um, and we were very excited to see all of that, but you were very intrigued to chat to us. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So I kind of, obviously I know the girls quite a while and I see all the things that they do. They're amazing. And I'd noticed the cinch at Fast 30 and of course always wanted to lose weight my entire life. I was intrigued, looked it up. I think we had a brief chat. Yes, I think a few WhatsApp messages. And I mentioned that I have a long occurring thyroid problem, which when I was uh, 31, I had my second child and about six months after that, I went from a size 12 to a size 16, like practically overnight. Mm -hmm. Turned out to be thyroid, which wasn't diagnosed for five years. So caused lots of damage, um, lots of other health issues and um, doctors being what they are, just put it down to being tired, having oh, two boys yeah, under yeah. five, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so by the time I was diagnosed five years later, I think a lot of the damage was done mm -hmm. to my um, metabolism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course I tried every diet under the sun and what would happen and what continued to happen was that I would lose about 10, 12 pounds mm -hmm. in about three months and then it would just stop. Right, okay. So I would give up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, lose the will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lose the will and I would kind of yo-yo diet a bit and probably had a very unhealthy mm -hmm. attitude. And then I developed lots of habits from different diets. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Until somebody said to me one day, none of it's working for you. Yeah, you know, why so, are you doing that? Yeah. There's a lot of conflicting stuff right there and one says something yeah. and the yeah. other is sins and points and yeah. calorie count. Don't, 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 don't eat this and don't eat that. Yeah. yeah. So I think I just was very confused. And what I got into the habit of doing was if I had an occasion coming up, I would diet like mad mm -hmm. to get into a dress. Yes. Once the occasion was yeah. finished, we've all been yeah. there, it would go <laughs> back on. But when you ladies kind of, I was intrigued about the intermittent fasting, but it went against what I'd been told mm -hmm. for me, which was I needed to eat little and often. Yeah, because that was one thing with your thyroid, mm -hmm. you'd kind of been told that, hadn't yeah. you? Yeah. Um, and I'd actually done a diet the previous year and it was like breakfast at this time, then a snack, then a mini snack. Then it just, it didn't work. I couldn't eat it yeah. all. Yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, you ladies bounced in. I wanted to show you all the lovely new range um, up close and personal, but instead of not being able to take my eyes off the products, I couldn't take my eyes off you two because you bounced in. Now today you're all dressed and I'm in my walking oh. gear, um, but you two bounced in in your, oh. your exercise gear and I, you're always full of vitality, but I just noticed a little extra sparkle. Oh. Uh, your oh, skin was glowing. <laughs> And I was like sitting there and thinking, oh my word. And I felt terrible. I have to admit, I felt terrible. I had been a bit unwell as well for about a year or so. Couldn't exercise, kept having stroke-like symptoms. So I wasn't even mm -hmm. able to exercise. You weren't yourself. No, yeah. and I was yeah. at my heaviest and yeah. probably in denial right. as okay. well about getting on the scales. So we chatted again mm -hmm. and yeah. I just decided to yeah, give it a go. It I think go. you phoned me the next day and said, Okay, it's really interesting in what you're saying because I thought you were for me. What about Tropic? You're like, no, no. I was really interested in what you were saying about the singe fast. So, do you think I would be in, you know, yeah. I'd be a good candidate? Yeah. Was it try, try it. it? And that's no. it. It's a 30 day challenge. Just give it the 30 days. Yeah. That's and I it. think with it being November, if it had been December, I might have thought I'll yes, put it off to January. Yeah. But with it being November, I thought, no, if I don't, I'll be even heavier yeah, by the yeah. time. That was exactly yeah. the same thing. Yeah. I started the first of December and I thought, if I don't do this now, <laughs> another <laughs> month of feasting yeah. will go past. So how did you start? So talk through the early days. A lot of well, people the, watching. The early days, what you need to realise was it was a big step for me because I thought I had that extra accountability. This I have to be, what, am I, what if I fail at this? Everybody thinks that. What yeah. if I am the one yeah. <laughs> that it just doesn't work for? So I literally just got everything mm -hmm. sent through to me. I went through everything on the computer, printed out, wrote down what I was going to be eating. I think I followed the plan exactly the every words. day, Excellent. apart from a couple maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so I think at okay. the end of the 30 days, I had about 
12 pounds. I get my so usual that. kind of yeah. fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. And what window did you start with then? 18.6 and, I, was, and I stuck to 18.6. I knew I could do it. I am the kind of person that gets up and goes about and then goes oh dear it's lunchtime right, right. and then I think that that was maybe part of my problem going back because then I wasn't looking at what I was eating and maybe mm -hmm. eating later and um, so I I got stuck in with the 18 6 so I started at 12 o'clock and um finished at six o'clock okay. so it wasn't a problem for me but the my problem for my hobby right okay. <laughs> who went a bit in denial I think right. and kind of ate everything that I wasn't eating oh dear and <laughs> yes, yes. He's not a chef, but he's a, he's in the food industry and he's a bit really loves right. his food. Okay. And so you lost so, it and he put it on. <laughs> but what I also used to do is before was be very good during the week right. and then at the weekend. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have that problem and that was me early days, but it was alcohol that was ruining it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And little did I know, um, <laughs> But were you the same? Were did alcohol play a Yeah, so that? obviously over lockdown, um, we all had a few we extra glasses yes, of wine and, and gin. And you know, I think I think the first time we went out after lockdown, I got a measure of glass of wine. And went, oh gosh, that's hardly anything. That? Yes. 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 So yeah, it suddenly made me realise. But I actually, I think I what was the best thing for me was the mentally pulling down mm -hmm. my shutter. Yeah. When the window closed. When my window mm -hmm. closed, I was stubborn and I went, mm -hmm. no, I'm not doing it. So. I got used to that quite quickly. Really? I still like the old little glass or of whatever. Course, um, I'm not going to be. it just does teach you self control yes. and that discipline. You know, I whereas think if you don't have any yeah. time in time, time skill, you're just kind of eating, grazing your way around the kitchen. Thing, and you never yeah. even think about it. Yeah. Whereas this really teaches you, okay, so this is when I'm eating. Yeah. And when I'm finished. Yeah. Um, that's it. It's done. And um, that's it done. So yeah, so I, I kept it going over Christmas. I had a few bits and pieces, thought it maybe put on weight, didn't. Mm -hmm. And then I had a big event in March that I was going away to. And the difference then, I think I had, gosh, I definitely just under two stone off, I think. And it meant that I could fit into my oh, summer clothes. Brilliant. I didn't have to go looking for anything yes. else. And I wasn't, okay, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't what I used to be years ago, but I felt comfortable. Good. I mm -hmm. felt happier. Um, and also the energy, I think well, the energy it, kind yeah. of just... Because the weight loss is great and we yeah. always say, yes, weight loss is super, but um, the health benefits that come yeah. along with it as well. Absolutely. So how are so, you feeling then since well, you started? I am feeling fantastic. I think in the December or the January, I must have had some blood tests done. Yes, you did. I did because I, my cholesterol was up. Because I wasn't exercising, my cholesterol mm -hmm. was up, my blood pressure was up. Um, and I was on medication for that and I'd had I had to phone up for these results. And the lady actually said to me, these can't be right. What are you doing? Oh, really? And I can't remember exactly now, but the, it, it had all dropped quite considerably. Mm -hmm. um, the only one I've had done recently is my thyroid and it's leveled out. Excellent. So wow. um, I probably will be maybe the next couple of months having to come down a wee bit in my medication, I would think. So well, that yeah. is remarkable. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's yeah. Amazing. And that's yeah. the proof in the pudding because anybody, yeah. you know, like the doctors are always, there's a few doctors and things that people who've been to doctors mm -hmm. In the group I have just said the doctors have said yeah what have what you done you like yeah. what is that Incredible. and that yeah. is yeah no that is the proof it's so for me so for me I feel healthier yes I want to lose more weight but I feel like I'm on this journey mm -hmm. I've set myself a goal by November mm -hmm. I would like to have had I know I'd be down four stone I can't even believe that I needed to lose that much but we do go into denial mm -hmm. and but, right, a lot yeah. there, so. but the other ladies on the program I have to say so I think Lynn caught my eye and mm -hmm. the fact that she was a fellow Tropic person, and then the lovely Margaret that I met people at the Cinch lunch mm -hmm. that we had at yes, Christmas. So yes, and, and you realize you're not alone, that everybody, yes. no matter what size, everybody has their own struggle mm -hmm. or their own personal reasons. And we were talking earlier about it being very emotional, oh, yeah, weight yeah. gain. And mm -hmm. I, I know how low I felt when I had an extra stone and a half. You lose yourself, yeah, for 10 years. I hated seeing photographs mm -hmm. of myself, I just felt who even is that? And mm. you try to hide away in the behind photographs because you don't want to be the one in the front because you look bigger. And oh, I've done it all. And, and, all and, all. and you now look at photographs and you see the person who's not happy with herself because you know that they're hiding. Yeah. The we know all, we nice. know all the tricks. And I have to admit, it was a very emotional thing for me eating just due to lots of other things. But um, you know what? Uh, I think you just have to feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not going to aim to be the 21 year old me. You know, Ooh. I just want to be. The fifty-eight-year-old me yeah. that feels you that feels good about yourself. Yeah, yeah. and it's about finding other people who are on that journey and making yeah. it fun, and that's mm -hmm. what we're trying to do. That to say it doesn't have to be all quinoa and no. kale, but no. do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's it's making it fun, yeah. eating real foods with real people, 
Um, and that's where the events come in. And you've been in sea swimming and everything with yeah. us. Yeah, sea swimming. So I started to do a bit of that last year with my wetsuit on. I bought a wetsuit and then mm -hmm. hilariously got stuck in it. Couldn't get out of it. <laughs> and actually, no, do you know what? It's just so much easier. Yes, when you're swimming. It's just yeah. everything easier. So for my birthday, I got one of those lovely, like, oh, coats. Now. I've got one of those Excellent. as well. Yeah, but the other thing for me was I really miss not being able to get out walking. And mm -hmm. I couldn't hardly mm -hmm. walk the length of myself mm -hmm. without being really weak down one side and out of breath. Last year, we actually had our house up for sale mm -hmm. because I was struggling with the stairs. Now, that wasn't because of my weight. It was yes. because of other things, but yes. the weight didn't help. Mm -hmm. And now I'm running up the stairs. Oh, there <laughs> um, but I'm, And I get out. So I, I do this five-second thing. So there was one mm -hmm. of the mornings my husband goes five to play golf. Rule. The mm -hmm. five-second rule. Mm -hmm. And I was lying there and it was, I knew it was, it was a jubilee day and we had a mm -hmm. big thing going on that day. And I thought, I'm not going to get my walk done. So I said, what time are you leaving? Ten minutes. Straight out of bed, clothes oh, on, yes. teeth brushed, dogs. He left me at the golf club and I walked all the way back to the house, which is quite a good wee distance. That's so, really so I've started to kind of do That's why I'm dressed like this today. Because I'm like, here. right, yeah. I'm, great. I'm in the great. lovely Helen's Bay area, so yeah. I've got the dogs in the car Brilliant. and we're going to go for a the walk. The five second that. rule is great because yeah. you don't even think about it. As soon as you see the idea to go for a walk or do anything comes into your head, just, just do get it. your trainers on and you go for it. But then it's the five seconds because your brain will talk you out of the uh -huh. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, get wet, all the dishes to do, all the yeah. and those excuses just yeah. mount and mount. You've talked yourself out. Yeah. That's so so good. the group and the group is brilliant for all of those wee tips. Now I do see some of it. And it looks like maybe I don't join in all the time, but I, I am seeing it and I am yeah. very inspired by everybody. I see there's lots of yeah, new ladies that have thing. started you as well. You can dip in and out as much as you want. For people who don't like WhatsApp groups, you can be a yes, voyeur yeah. or you can be all in all the time. <laughs> but um, I just, find that very helpful. Yeah, I think I yeah, you can just be having a wee moment or maybe think and then you just like, oh no, but actually look what they have yes. done. And actually, and it's great as well, that. you know, the, the tips as well. Some yeah. put in, okay, I've got some chicken fillets in the fridge. What should I do with them? You know, and they'll have 40 yeah. recipes later. <laughs> <laughs> what are this? This, this, yeah, uh, it's a brilliant community. It's a brilliant it? thing, and I think as well sharing the lows, so people will say like I've had a wee plateau yes, and stuff because exactly. I have had that happen to me. Mm -hmm. Um, I came back from that cruise and had four pounds on and I was gutted, but I think it was all fluid. The next yeah. day I had one pound on, mm -hmm. but then I got stuck. Yes, for a wee bit. That's natural, and that does happen. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's just knowing that and allowing your body to be. But so what I do that. is go back then to writing things down, yeah. and yes. what I also noticed was if I let myself do just too much of what I think is okay. So mm. I, I got a wee bit too fond of the Greek yogurt and granola. Okay. And I was realizing that I was having a wee bit more granola. <laughs> yeah, portion control. So I've had no to problem. really go, okay, I didn't lose weight that way. It was maybe all those extra things of granola. Um, and for me as well, I love that cinch bread recipe. Oh, oh it's so good. Have you tried the new CD one? Oh, it's delicious. Oh, it's a life changer. I will, Low but carb. again, for me, I have to be I think one time I made it and sliced it. Oh, and then yeah, the whole thing. I did that. I know I sliced it and put some of it away because I was going to eat yeah, the whole thing. Sorry. Put it in the freezer. Yeah. yeah so um, for me personally, I think it's, I, I recognise that it's um, wheat and yes. and bread. So while I'm not cutting all of it out, mm -hmm. I know the weeks that I've done better. Yeah. Yes. I mean, exactly I have the had. Same. Well, the nutty CD bread, it's gluten free, so there's no flour. And in very low carb. Very, yeah. very, very, very. So, yes, I'll make give it a one. go, definitely. I'll give it a go. But no, and honestly, I really just want to thank you. So, it's really just opened my eyes. I love cooking anyway, and I always did kind of cook healthily, but it just makes mm. you more aware now of yeah. actually what you're doing. Yeah, and what you're a little bit more mindful, doesn't it? Your body. And, just, yeah. Yeah, and more sustainable. So, you're in month seven. Have you ever reached month seven on eight? This Never. Is <laughs> this is a plan. But I think that's why it works for a lot of people because it is a lifestyle. Yeah. There's not a you know, calorie count or any of yeah. that. So do you do any? Do you just be more mindful of what you eat or do you walk? Do you? It depends. So if I think I'm kind of not getting far enough, then I will be very mindful then about what, mm, what yes. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to eat the rainbow and trying to eat as much fruit. But you can get into like a few favourites of what yes, you kind of keep going to. But I was away for a wee week there with mum and dad and I was, it was very good. It was all inclusive, but I just did not go anywhere near the breakfast. I just went straight mm -hmm. outside, did my walk, Give the aid. straight outside, hubby brought me coffee. Dad was going, this, this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Look at all that food. And going, dad, this is, I'm happy. Yes. Yeah. And then we would have eaten at about one o'clock. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm learning all those things because um, you just you know, gone before you. Yeah. You're like, oh, well, you need your breakfast, you know, yeah. to get the energy. Do you actually allow you yeah. to go for a walk or do you exercise? And it's total nonsense. Totally and wrong. If you're like me, if I went for breakfast, oh, I do on holiday, but I try and eat it. Well, we'll go for a turn instead yeah. of eight o'clock in the morning. Um, but 
it, for me, if I start eating really early, that's me all day. Yeah. My like hunger yeah. hormone is ignited, and then yeah. it's like a the hungry, hunger beast is let out of the cage. Yeah, so I'm better keeping that wee fella in its cage with yeah. the black coffee. Cause the earlier I eat, yeah. the longer I want to eat all day. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'd said that to you on Friday, so we were invited to a lovely thing on Friday night, and I'd, you know, thought it was sort of early and it was only going to be nibbles, and I would ignore the nibbles, and we had our tea early. But when we went, mm -hmm. I was like, you must have a glass, have a glass, oh, have a bit of cake, have a bit of cake. Drink so I ha and, and I did, and I enjoyed it like a little mm -hmm. glass or two. But then I had a bit of cake, which was divine. Mm -hmm. And um, but when I got home then at about ten, I was still hungry and it was mm -hmm. it was in my head. Yeah, yeah. woke at the hunger beast mm -hmm. up. I got up the next day, did my walk, but I was still hungry and it, it was a more of a struggle to wait mm -hmm. to twelve or yes. one. Um, where I, normally I don't worry about that, yeah, so I so definitely wake and. But yeah. maybe this time last year that, that, that you would have just had that and not thought of just been hungry all day Saturday. Yeah. And, but it's yeah. we are actually listening to our bodies now and realizing yeah. the effect yeah. is now. And that's where that kind of the tropic comes in because we're trying yeah. to put all this really good food mm -hmm. into our body. Absolutely. And we've always been a big tropic fan. We've always used yes. it. But you had contacted us again recently because everything's changed in Tropic. Everything oh. has changed. So, yeah, I have been doing Tropic for like five or six years. I've known you ladies for about four or five yeah, years four now. Five years. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I'm a great fan of it. It's actually my full time job now. Is it? Um, <clears throat> yes, and I just love it. So, but recently, so obviously because I was more mindful about what I was putting in my body, I always mm -hmm. have been mindful about mm -hmm. what I'm putting on my skin mm -hmm. uh, with Tropic. And it just, the correlation between the two is just, mm -hmm. and even the way we talk about Tropic, it's like a feast for your skin. Yes. Some of the names, yes. Juicy Green, yeah, Super Green. Mm -hmm. It's all natural, yeah. really. it's made of food, so there's no chemicals whatsoever. No. So, I mean, some natural things obviously are chemicals, yes. and, but there's no harmful chemicals. Mm -hmm. What she has done recently is turn it all organic in the skincare. Right. Um, we're very eco-conscious. What they're now calling it is planet protective, powerful and purposeful. Mm. Um, and it's a very empowering, so it's empowering people to take, like you're empowering people to take charge yes. of their bodies and their diet. Mm -hmm. um, so be, yeah, be that's, a lot more we should be thinking about. And, and the thing is, people are, that we mm -hmm. are thinking about it now and the harm that we're doing Absolutely. to the but environment people, as well. When we first met you, I think what we didn't even realise yes. is that everything you put on your skin is absorbed within seconds into seconds, your bloodstream. 26 <laughs> seconds, I think it is. 26 yeah. seconds. Yeah. And all the brands that we trust and we've loved, we've grown up with, that you get in boots yeah. and all, they have a lot of chemicals in yeah. there that are very yeah. harmful. And lots of stuff. So even natural things that are said to be natural, if you see like parfum and um, alcohol and stuff, they may be really, really natural, but then those things will be bringing in added things. And while we can't escape mm -hmm. pollution and everything everywhere, I think we heard recently from the Environmental Working Group that we're the most um, toxic popular generation. So this generation of people will have more oh, toxins oh, oh. Yeah. in their body, not just from their products, yeah. but from outside, from mm -hmm. what we're eating, the microplastics. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, it's just something to be kind of aware of. Mm -hmm. And I just think it, it just sits really nice. Mm -hmm. So you're aware oh, of what we're putting in. absolutely gorgeous. I, I don't know how I've been doing this so long and then not being so conscious of what I've been also yes, eating. Yeah. In your we are a vegan company. Mm -hmm. I'm not as far as being vegan. Mm -hmm. And I do love some of the vegan food and stuff. But um, I must say now I am making more of our recipes yeah so maybe more often in the week i'll be making like vegetarian yeah, yeah. so yeah. again even with the whole organic it's just about stripping back all the unnatural and just putting the good yeah. stuff on your skin absolutely or into your body and i think the biggest thing that really piqued our interest last week when we met is that we've always loved tropic mm -hmm. it's a feel good product it's amazing but we always felt it wasn't anti-aging mm -hmm. and when as we get older, we all like things. a bit of anti <laughs> And um, you said, oh no, we see so you got your brochure right. <laughs> they did, they've invested a hell of a lot of money oh gosh, into lots. Yeah. So clinical uh, trials. As, we have, as we've evolved, um, yeah, so obviously that's very important. People want to see, mm -hmm. they want to know Results. what it's doing for them. Um, we can use stuff till the cows come home and we, mm -hmm. we like it, but it, the proof is in the pudding. So mm -hmm. yeah, each product in the skincare now has been... Um, certified organic by it's cosmo certified which is the creme de la creme mm -hmm. of the natural world but also um clinically tested mm -hmm. and that process we, i'll not bore you with it but it, it takes a very long time and an awful lot of people mm -hmm. and it's the people being tested at the exact same time every day on the exact piece of skin and yeah so some of the results are absolutely well, mind-blowing a massive so, difference in my skin yours has been really glowy oh that um what is it the juicy, juicy greens no oh, well the green, green, juicy green, green, green. 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 and the juicy greens i've been using those two and it's a game changer oh my goodness my skin is they, they, well i think the rainforest dew i was doing a, a pumper last night with some ladies and we we're going over some of the the stats 
I think after two hours, it's 175% oh, increase gracious. in skin hydration. So again, thinking of our healthy yes. drinks and our lovely water yeah, and all of that, it's hydrated. just piling lots mm -hmm. of goodness into your skin. Mm -hmm. So who doesn't want that? So we've, we've lots of different things. So every kind of skin issue that you would have, mm -hmm. yeah, and there'll be something it for it. It says it in the back, clinically tested and shown to boost skin moisture by 57% after seven days. And that's just your cleanser. That's the cleanser. That's that the cleanser. That is mad. Yeah. And mm -hmm. what about the, the wrinkly stuff? What's the... What's oh, the, the wrinkly <laughs> stuff. <laughs> oh, I want you know very vain. We've lots of different... So elixir is amazing for that. Oh, I um, love the elixir. Orange one. Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. 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 So well. beautiful. But there's I lots know. of ladies who know about Topic. There's lots of ladies in the really? Cinch absolutely. family yeah, we who are really Topic ambassadors. Absolutely fantastic. You know, if you are interested in any of them, mm -hmm. speak to some of the girls yeah. that do it at Cinch Clinic. Mm -hmm. Until you try the products, you don't realise. You just think, oh, I feel good. And you yeah. try them, you're like, oh, I need the entire range mm -hmm. right <laughs> now. <laughs> we met you <laughs> Thursday, you're like, okay, Nicole, please yeah. order, order that, order that, order that. We'll just order everything. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's lovely. But as I say, the main thing is just that it, it just sits so nicely. Yes, it does. With, our, with the cinch. With our Making, we, what we always say is make the, put the food in your body when it's your window worthy food mm -hmm. and you're putting products on your yeah. skin that is window worthy. Window -worthy. Yeah. Well, one of them makes me laugh because they've changed the name of our lovely deep hydration mask to comfort food. Okay. So if you're tempted yeah. to go for some comfort food, yes, you're fast. Just reaching for your comfort it, food. Yeah, food just go and put your mask on. So there's times like, I do work from home, so That's there's times if you're kind of yeah. a lovely genius <laughs> trying to keep your window, like extend your window, just yeah. go and do some oh, self-care. Oh, and uh, That's all yeah. sorted yeah. for later tonight. Yeah. Yeah. That's you for later tonight. Friday night, instead of a glass of wine, I'll just put my... Put your comfort food on. You're having your comfort food in a different way. Granny <laughs> must strikes again. It really works oh, hand in hand, being yeah. like hundred percent natural. Yeah, so it's yeah. fantastic. We're excited yes. to to start selling it again because yeah. I think with lockdown and everything, it's kind of dwindled. But yeah. Again, it's working with the other girls in the mm -hmm. group to educate people about yes. this mm -hmm. amazing mm -hmm. range of products. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And just sharing the story. And that's it. Topic isn't in the store. So all of the growth that has been with Topic is word of mouth. Yeah. And it's the proof of the pudding. Mm -hmm. And it's what works. And that's what ladies love. Mm -hmm. And they want to talk about, hey, what do you use? Look, mm -hmm. How are you losing mm -hmm. weight? Yes. I was chatting to people last night. How are you doing that? Mm -hmm. And kind of just pointing people. And that's what women are very good at, aren't oh, they? Yeah, you know? just so, all helping yeah. each other. Helping and, each yeah. other. That's what it's all about. And that's what's come out of this. Mm -hmm. community. Everybody, like on our walk, like tonight, we've got a walk at Stormont, but we'll be sharing ideas, recipes. Yes. We'll talk about everything. We've got relationship coach coming. We'll talk about Brilliant. everything <laughs> under the sun. <laughs> Skincare, weight loss, relationships. Yeah. And I've, Nicholas I've tree that. hugging. So I, well, I yeah. want to give it a go. I want it. I was walking through uh, a forest a couple of weeks ago and I went, what is this? What is it they call it? It's not the tree hugging, is it like forest, uh, forest, bathing. forest bathing? Very yes. similar. What they hand it? out prescriptions for in forest Japan. bathing in Japan because the trees release happy chemicals mm -hmm. and you know you walk, go for a walk in nature and you feel amazing yeah. afterwards. It's literally because the trees are releasing mm -hmm. happy chemicals. So we're going to hug we're trees. We're going to hug trees tonight. tonight. Just normal kind of stuff. You <laughs> Just know? the normal kind of stuff. Enjoying ourselves. Oh my goodness. Well, thank oh, you so yes, much, Kerry. You are so yeah, welcome. You You're so, so welcome. Along. And, um, and yeah. you've two still nine pounds off, 16 inches off. Um, <sighs> and I'm still going. You know what? It's not, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm so much happier than where I was. It's and, incredible. Um, yeah. And uh, I'm just enjoying it. So that's the main thing. And that is the main thing. Doesn't feel like a chore. And that's why you stick to it, because when it becomes a chore, that's when you just yeah. lose the will and pull it back on. So well yeah. done, Well thank done. Thank you. Thank Brilliant. you. And thank you for joining us on our podcast. <laughs>